On the eve of Child Protection Week, a visual artwork protesting child abuse has been released. The United Against Child Abuse work was unveiled at a Johannesburg gallery. A simple yet powerful message. Highlighting the ordeal a child endures when disclosing sexual abuse. Often, the perpetrator is known to the victim, and the statistics are shocking. When we talk about late disclosure, one of the important things that happen with adults is they often say to us, I am so guilty that I didn't say something. I didn't feel I could say something, but the reason I'm so guilty is for all the other children that I knew he was abusing. Many a hope this will break the cycle of abuse. When you say, no, it's actually not okay to, to molest children, to beat women, to rape, um, then you're able to then say, uh, okay, why have you been doing this all along? The piece has been compiled by multi-award winning local artist Harun Gonsali, who is currently showcasing other works abroad. Gonsali uses his art as a vehicle for social change. The gallery is only one platform for doing this um, and I think that's why it's really important that artists are making work to affecting social change. Ita Hakim's live performance Nisongo Trela, which means don't get lost, engages audiences with the high levels of gender violence. Child Protection Week kicks off on Sunday. Jillian Play, SABC News, Johannesburg.